Things only got serious when the informants planted by the FBI got involved. And new allegations today from the attorneys representing the men charged in the Governor Whitmer kidnapping plot. It is day two for the hearing for the three members of the Wolverine Watchmen accused of supporting terrorist acts. And the hearing will determine if there's enough evidence to send these three men to trial in the plot to kidnap the governor and storm the state capitol. Our Grant Herms is following the latest for us this afternoon from the courtroom where the defense kicked off the day. Grant. Evra, good afternoon. Yesterday we heard from the prosecutors and today we are hearing from the defense side of this hearing and we're getting what is essentially a preview of the legal argument that they'll be laying out should these men go to trial who are representing that group, the Wolverine Watchmen. In court today, attorneys for the men accused in the plot to eventually kidnap and kill Governor Gretchen Whitmer taking their turn questioning the undercover FBI agent who uncovered the alleged plot. The attorneys for Pete Musico, Joseph Morrison and Paul Ballar pushing back against the claims their clients intended to act violently. At one point, the attorney for Morrison making the claim the members of the group known as the Wolverine Watchmen were only training in Munich to protect against far-fetched threats like the invasion of the United States or the need to tactically sweep their homes after being out. The defense also portrayed online posts involving violent rhetoric about the governor as satire and their activities only escalating once an FBI confidential informant got involved. He told his group he wants Governor Whitmer's head on a platter. Okay. And that, that could be satire as well. I guess I don't, I don't think that's funny. Me neither, but I, I mean, I, I feel like, I, haven't you heard similar things about uh, President Trump on, on late night TV? There's a lot of mean and nasty things that have been said about politicians. And Everett, if that sounds familiar, it's very similar to this defense that was used by the lawyers for the Hattari almost a decade ago. We'll let this truck go by here just a little bit. Now, if you remember, most of those members were able to have their charges dropped from the Atari. We'll have the latest coming up from today's hearing at 5 and 6. Back to you. We'll definitely be tuning in then. Thank you for the update, Grant.